All right, so we've got a 2012 Chevy Volt and it's got a bad half shaft. Have a used real GM half shaft. Now, additionally, we have a seal. Uh, this car has about 200,000 miles on it, so it's not surprising that it needs a half shaft and a seal. Go ahead and raise the car and put it on jack stands on both sides. All right, there's one. Stand. <clears throat> that tight on there. Not that bad. other one. I want to be careful about the brake line. All right. There we go. I like to get a hat on when I'm going under a car like this because it's really easy to like scrape your forehead or catch your ear on something. So that'll protect me. Okay, I think I might be able to get it from here pretty good. Ready? There it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh crap. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that. Damn, that scared me. I thought that was blood. <laughs> it sure looks like blood, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we are. Nice. We've got our new half shaft. But before that, we have this seal to deal with. And this seal could prove to be quite difficult to remove. It's tough. This side. Oh, yeah. Boy, this sucker is really in there. I'm gonna. Okay, ready? That seal is stuck. Okay, so I did end up getting the slide hammer to go in by actually drilling a hole in the seal. And now I've got my slide hammer hooked up. I'm gonna swing back. Just look at that seal pop out as I... There we go. Drain into the bucket and now we can see how I drilled a hole and got a screw in there to get the seal. And that seal is torn up. Okay. So new seal is our next step. Here's our old seal. Pretty torn up. And just general good practice, we're gonna compare to the new one. They do look the same. And here's that screw I ran into it to be able to pull it with the slide hammer. Okay, so it was really hard to install a new seal at times. Having something that's round that fits on this is good, but I don't have anything perfect. So what I'm gonna try and do is start this guy off. So I'm gonna, it's really hard to get a straight shot on this thing, but I'm gonna just kinda try and knock this guy in there. Little by little. Up like this. Okay, I think I've got it started. So you really don't want to bend that seal, and it's pretty soft stuff, so I actually have this wooden stick. See how I do with that. 
was. All right, just one more smack on the bottom. We probably got it. There we go. Okay, so reassembly is just the reverse of disassembly, and we'll have our new half shaft in. There's one thing I'd like to show that might not be readily apparent. New half shaft, I'm gonna clean its inner bore, and I'll need a fair amount of force to knock this on. That's fine. I can just hammer on the end here. This hammer has a copper face on it, so it won't mess up these threads. So that's an important thing to note. We'll get this guy on here started. Okay, now a couple wax, and it should pop on there. All right, that went most of the way. One last bit. There. All right. That was satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> so I won't show you the rest because it's just the reverse of the disassembly, but that's our job pretty much done. One, one last thing to note, <laughs> keep saying one last thing, we do have to refill the transmission fluid because a fair amount spilled out. Okay, that's it.